a few of the Unbound Gravel Premier Races were won on unreleased bicycles. Keegan Swinson took the win in the 200 mile men's pro edition on a Santa Cruz Stigmata CC that is not yet out. Caroline Schiff took the win in the women's 200 mile division on a Canyon gravel race bike. It may well be a new grail. Neither company is willing to talk about what these racers were on. I rode in in the 100 mile with women's winner Tiffany Cromwell also on that same Canyon bike. Talked to Pete Stetna, also on this bike. None of them are talking about what they were on. But here's a look at both of those bicycles and what I can ascertain or guess from looking at them. I'm just walking back from the race to where I'm staying during a break in the rain. Conditions were brutal today. Peanut butter, quick creep mud, tore many a derailleur, many a chain, and many a dream from riders early on in the course. And then pouring rain came down uh, at the end for many of the racers out there. So let's take a look at this new Santa Cruz Stigmata CC and a new Canyon gravel race bike that may or may not be a new grail. You tell me what you're saying here, I appreciate some uh, feedback on the Shimano 12 speed GRX video that I posted. And I appreciate the, uh, the hive mind going to work here, looking at uh, what's in plain sight. Let's take a look. Congrats again, Pete. What can you tell me about your bike? <laughs> uh, I think the, the paint job is called Gravel Dazzle. That's what I, that's what I can say. Uh, always testing some new stuff and uh, some new hotness from Canyon and uh, yeah. Hey Tiffany, what uh, what bike you riding there? Canyon. <laughs> the next year's Canyon Champagne job. <laughs> Not really. Pleasure riding with you today. Exactly. Where else can you finish a bike race with the World Tour Star? Let's start with the name. There is no direct Canyon branding on the frame, but it's pretty clear, as all the Canyon sponsored riders are on this bike, that this is a Canyon. So, what bike is this? Is it a new Grizzle? Is it a new Grail? Those are the two gravel bikes currently in the Canyon lineup. The Grizzle being the beefier, you know, 50 mil tire clearance adventure gravel bike and the Grail being the 42 millimeter tire clearance gravel race bike. This looks a lot more akin to the Grail. And of course this was a gravel race where the gravel racers were riding this bike. This is the current Grail, the most notable feature being the hover bar. Now this is the cockpit on this unreleased bike. You can see the internal routing. There is a storage box in the top tube, or I'm, I'm sorry, in the down tube. <laughs> uh, I did not dig into it, of course. This is Pete setting this bike with a Dura-Ace crank. Pete likes the bigger rings and having a power meter. I would not suspect that consumer bikes would be sold with Dura-Ace, but uh, a gravel group instead. Looking at clearance here, this is certainly not Grizzle territory, 50 mil. Pete was running a 42 mil front, and there was clearance for, I don't know, maybe a 45. I didn't have calipers, but just eyeballing it, that would be my guess there. So certainly not the huge Grizzle clearance. At the rear, Pete had a 38 mil, again with a bit more clearance, but not massive clearance. Looking at the handlebar of Carolyn Schiff's bike, there's a bend to it. Right uh, from the top near the stem down towards the hoods, you know, there's some certain curvature in there. Caroline Schiff was running some special blue edition Schwalbe G1 RSs. She was also running a Dura Ace crank for the power meter and the bigger gears. She had a Dura Ace derailleur. That was surprising to see. 
pretty much everybody else had, like, something with a clutch. Uh, Jasper Oakland was another Canyon rider on this bike. Here again is that cockpit with his padding that he put near the stem because air bars were banned for the 200 mile riders. You've got the direct mount derailleur, his 303 Firecrest zip wheels, and the bike has a mount for a front derailleur or in this case, a chain guard. Here's another look at Jasper's cockpit configuration. The There's some sort of weird connection mount thing at the center of the bar here with the computer mount. So what is this new bike and when will we see it released? The answer from Canyon marketing reps I spoke to on site at Unbound Gravel said, no comment, no comment, no comment. But clearly a new bike will be forthcoming. Now let's talk the new Santa Cruz Stigmata CC. This is Keegan Swenson's winning bike of the Unbound Gravel 200. The man pushes big power, pushes a big ring. You got a chain catcher on there. You've got the direct mount transmission from SRAM with their universal derailleur hanger and an eagle rear derailleur. The biggest change I could spot was the addition of this internal storage mount on the down tube, something that many brands are doing, but this would be a first for Santa Cruz. It cracks me up that Keegan runs his Garmin just rubber banded to the stem. He's also got his Genuine Innovations bacon plugs taped to the seat post here. Did not have to use them, but was there just in case. Tire clearance looks huge here. He was running 40 mil Maxxis Ramblers with all manner of clearance. So I think that is also a change from the existing Stigmata CC. The fork also looks different down at the dropouts compared to the current one. Similarly, the rear dropouts have a different configuration than the current Stigmata CC. You've got the ability to run a front derailleur or in Keegan's case, a chain catcher to keep the chain where it needs to be. It had a paint stir stick taped to his top tube, but it stayed in place. Unlike so many others, he rode where many had to walk. This is the existing Stigmata CC from Santa Cruz. Tobin Ortenblad was also on the Stigmata CC. The head tube to my eye looks a little bit smaller than the current one. That could just be me making things up, but that's my visual take on it, not having the existing bike side by side to compare. The rear looks similar to the existing one as far as the dropped seat stays. I chose to run a slick rear paired with a front Rambler in the 40cc. So. What is this new Stigmata CC and when will we see it? Time will tell. That first mud section, like, I mean, how much how much were you on your feet versus on the pedals? Oh, uh, it was hard to say. I, I don't know, I mean, I rode a lot of it. I think there's a handful of us that rode a lot more than anyone else, and that seemed to create a lot of separation. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, mile 10, the other race detonated and went, there was a small group of maybe six at the front, eight something yeah and then some of those guys cracked or flatted and then Lawrence, pete boz uh <coughs> lachlan a couple others came up and then that was the group the rest of the day um and it was a good day of bike racing you know everyone worked together and just rolled all day and we just increased that gap over 200 miles and, and then eventually you know we realized we had like 10 minutes so it was yeah. it was just uh, gonna be the last few miles of racing so yeah. You've won a lot of yeah. big bike races. How good does it feel to win this one? Oh, this one's good, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was pretty bummed last year. You know, second was a good ride, but I mean, to come up short and uh, this in a sprint, like, haunted me for a while. So I'm happy to put that one to bed and, um, yeah, get it done. Yeah. You've been doing bonkers training with Fancy, seven hour day followed by eight hour day yeah. followed by nine hour day. Is uh, that paying off here? I think so. I mean, you're gonna do long races, you probably should ride your bike a lot. <laughs> and I mean, maybe it doesn't work for everyone, but I think it works for me, so. Congratulations. And, yeah, thank you. How about tires? You can talk tires. Yeah. 42, uh, 38. There was no good tire Steve, out there. Steve was saying there was like six tire changes in the 11th hour. I mean, you look at everyone's social media last night, everyone pulled it once that rain kept coming down. Um, but yeah, I opted for the, the semi-slick. It's a bit heavier of a tire, but uh, pretty robust for flats. and. I just thought with a more flat uh, center stripe, they would maybe gum up less, but nobody was immune to that stuff today. That was... How much walking was there in that mile 10 or something? Oh, or tons, tons. 
a, a lot. I mean, it was, and, and riders were just spaced out everywhere. I mean, I, you spent most of the time just riding in the grass next to the road, and then I think one point I fell into a divot, like a couple feet down, and <laughs> ass over tea kettle kind of style, which was, it was just funny. But uh, yeah, a lot of stopping, a lot of picking out mud. Uh, yeah, quite a big mess, but you know, that's, that's part of the gravel thing too. I'm glad they kept that in their course. Um, the, the nice thing is it's made the selection early, so it was safe after that. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely a mess, but so it goes. So it goes. Yeah, that's unbound. Something goes wrong for everyone out there, so that's how you deal with it. <laughs>